Well, my point is, when we live in a world where it's full of catastrophe, and it's our job to take off these glamorous glasses of the upper class and luxury, to look around us and see what's wrong with it, to do our part. Because the world may have seven billion people, but out of those seven billion, not enough are doing what they can to help. Not enough are doing what they can to help the multiple millions who are dying, who are bleeding. They don't have a voice. They don't have any way of telling people what's going on. They can only hope. The very few humanitarians who come to help can end their catastrophe. What's really going on can get to someone. And that perhaps one day they'll be saved. So I leave all of you with a pledge to do what you can as even the smallest student. We have a voice, as small as it may seem to many people. We have a voice. So think of your image for a minute. Your parents know you as different people. On the friend side, I mean on, with your friends, you could be having laughs like this. An adventure a cool guy or a rapper but <laughs> at your parents you're a guy with the hood <laughs> yeah so you pretend like you're some kind of slave and you obey every single rule which they give you but really when you start switching between masks you don't understand who you really are you forget yourself so Today, I'm going to talk, I'm going to inspire you to venture into what really is your true image. Now, as I said before, the masks, we all have them. There is no person who can say, who can say that they don't act differently. But what really matters is your love. What really matters is not show to the outer world, but it's your creativity and it's your, it's your mindset. You need to be able to appreciate who you are and instead of wearing a stupid mask or a hood to obey other people or to look cool in front of others, you need to be able to show that you are you who you are and there is nothing that's going to change you. So, I plead you today to understand yourself better and don't just put on a show, but rather give to the world who you really are. Who I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was and, who, or from, and for who I hope to become. I'm not going to lie, but I'm learning how to find myself, how to accept myself with all my imperfections. I've seen it all through the eyes of experience. Yes, experience. Let me warn you, it's going to be a hard journey. There is going to be, t there's going to be times when you're going to look at someone and go like, oh, I wish I was her, or, oh, I wish I had perfect hair like her, or oh, I wish I was as thin as her, look at her, or I wish I never had stretch marks, I look ugly. There is going to be times where you wish you were someone else, anyone else but not yourself. Now listen to me. Give me two minutes of your time. You are one of a kind. You are different. Um, so the positives um, of using gadgets is learning things you haven't learned before and being communicated with everyone around you. So you get to meet new people every day using gadgets and um, this brings people together and it also improves your confidence because uh, to talk to people with using gadgets it's kind of easier because um, talking to people with a value gadget is hard so it brings you together so you know what you both like and it's better to see each other and then start talking. <laughs>